Welcome. In front of me is a Techno Pova 6 Neo and today I will show you how we can bypass the Google verification on this device. Now, typically I would be showing you how the device is locked, but uh, I'm recording this for the second time, so don't really want to get there. But I will show you right here, you can see that there is a little lock icon and uh, yeah, the device is locked. Now, with that being said, if you're at the beginning of the setup where you get to select the language, just go forward till you get to the network, connect to your network, and uh, you're almost good to go. Another thing that you will need is a SIM card. So, as you will see, I do have a SIM card in here. There we go. It can be any kind of SIM card, doesn't really matter. Uh, in the guide, it says that it needs to be a working SIM card, meaning one that can send messages, uh, but I don't actually think that is... Uh, the case so it can be a dead sim card as long as the device detects that there is one it should attempt to send a message which is what we will need to do anyway uh, let me just quickly put my sim card pin so we're going to click right here on this qr code uh for the connected network which i am going to block the qr code itself did i just miss it yes i did so there we go uh you have qr code visible right here you want to click on nearby uh, you will have two additional things, so select allow and uh, whatever else is there, and then you will have the need help sharing. And here you're going to click on the three dots, share article, choose messages, select a new message. In the two field, just slap in any kind of numbers. This will be good enough. And we're going to highlight the text right here, get rid of it. That's the article that we have wanted to share. So we just need to get rid of that link. And now you want to type in www.youtube.com like so and send it. As you will see, it attempts to send it and it fails, which is fine. Uh, but it still created a link that we can click on. So we're going to select it, select open URL. Now, importantly, you do want to make sure that you add the www extension as uh, without it the phone will open up this link in a pop-up view so youtube will be in a pop-up view which doesn't give us access to the options that we need uh, when adding the extension it opens it up in a full application view like it is visible right now next you want to click on the account icon and then select settings about and google privacy policy i agree and this redirects us to the browser now in the search bar you want to type in hard reset that info slash bypass. Like so. Next, I'm going to scroll down here and you'll find a settings up. You want to open it up and select open. Now, uh, I am going to stop right here with the guide for a moment and explain something that will become a little bit more obvious later on. So right now the device is, for all the device cares, it, it's in a setup process. Even though we managed to access settings, which we technically shouldn't have access to it, uh, the device still thinks it's in a setup process. And the reason I'm mentioning that is because technically you could scroll down here uh, into system and select reset, uh, but this would not do anything. But this is also something that we'll be utilizing later on, which will unlock the device, but that will be after the reset is, or setup is finished, uh, which will uh, help us. So that's, I'm kind of, putting that out there because the device is in a setup stage uh resetting it right now wouldn't do anything so uh what we need to do in here actually is we're gonna navigate into the app management select app list and then start off with android auto select disable disable app and for stop okay then go back then select the third option android setup for stop okay go back and now scroll down to google play services right here and again select disable disable app and for stop and go back to the main settings page right here and now select uh, special function accessibility scroll down and here you'll find accessibility mini you want to toggle it on select allow and got it and basically our device is now kind of prepped so we now gonna just start spamming back button I am going to hover my hand over here because, again, it will show the QR code in a second. There we go. You can see part of it. I'm going to go back. Oh, no. 
so we need to click on the arrow that was right here to go back and now all we need to do is just select next next and what will happen right now is in a moment you will have the page where you just you can select the don't copy option and after that the device will start checking for updates uh, glitch out and give you a message just a second and go straight back to checking for updates and the reason that will be happening is because Google Play services is turned off so the phone cannot connect to these services to check for updates and also security measures like the verifications so it will be basically stuck on that page till we re-enable the play services but let's just wait for this to finish doing absolutely nothing okay there we go so we're gonna select don't copy and here is the part that I was talking about. So checking for updates, just a second, checking for updates. So now you want to click on the accessibility menu, select assistant and settings will show up right here, though disappeared. So you want to continue this till you manage to open up settings and in here you want to, there we go, enable the Google Play services. So just spam the spam this combination till you can click on this. Once you click on it, it actually stays open. If you're quite slow with this and you open this page up and don't do anything quick enough, it will actually close it up. So you're just gonna have to keep on repeating it till you can manage to enable it. Once that is uh, done, you're just gonna go back once. Uh, click somewhere on the screen to get rid of the Google thing. And as you can see, we are now on the next page, uh, completely skipping over the verification portion. So right now we're just gonna finish up the setup uh, by choosing anything that is quick. So whatever is quickest for you, just select that. Um, at the moment, it doesn't really matter how we set up the device. And we should have access to the home screen in a second. So now comes the second part of what I was mentioning before, which is uh, that we're going to now perform a factory reset of the device to do settings. So just open up settings. Now, the reason you want to do that is number one, the device is still technically locked. We just kind of managed to finish up the setup. But for instance, if I were to lock the device, you can see I cannot unlock it normally. I can, for instance, interact with the notifications and this will unlock it, or for instance, open up something like a camera and this will also unlock the device. But for instance, the unlock method doesn't actually work. So anyway, like I said, we're gonna open up settings, scroll all the way down to system, select reset phone from the bottom here, and then erase all data, erase all data, and then confirm that by selecting erase all data for the last time. This will perform a factory reset of the device and once it's finished you will be taken back uh, to the setup process of the device but at that point the device will be fully unlocked. And the reason this happens is when performing a reset through settings when the device is actually finished with the setup the device just fully removes everything from it including the protection because it considers that you should shouldn't be there like we kind of glitched it so the device gets confused and it just removes it uh, per default so yeah this will then fully unlock the device now I'm not gonna go over this on the video as it just takes a little bit of time and uh, shows absolutely nothing after it's finished it's just a setup screen but you do want to go through it as a last step so with that being said if you found this video helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching